now we are going to see measurement of capacity that is another physical quantity already we have seen in the classes measurement of what length and after that measurement of mass first one is measurement of length second one is measurement of mass now the third physical quantity is measurement of capacity so meaning capacity in how much quantity a container can hold capacity mostly we used only for the liquid items so uh, for example uh, milk water or otherwise juices even fresh juice whatever the juice may be or uh, what the oil everything is comes under in petrol is all comes under in the we just what uh, pour it every pour everything into the container otherwise we uh, what we keep in the container only so that's what capacity in how much quantity how much quantity a container can hold a container means is nothing but a vessel can hold that is called as so I just give the meaning of capacity now we are going to see measurement of capacity from the capacity from the measurement of capacity first we must know the meaning of what is the capacity what is the meaning of capacity capacity is how much quantity a container can hold that is how much quantity a vessel can hold that is called as a small vessel a big vessel big vessel we can call it as small means it is vessel otherwise big, uh, big means uh, what, is, what we call as a container okay so now uh, example medicines, juices, milk, oil, water, petrol, everything we can call comes under in what liquid items. Okay, so medicines, so medicines also medicines in what do you call this? Uh, for example, cough syrup. Otherwise, any kind of uh, what um, even a digestive uh, syrup, whatever the syrup may be, it comes under in liquid. So that is comes under in milliliter. So after that, a juice. Some sometimes it comes under in milliliter. Sometimes it comes under in liter and juices liter or milliliter and milk liter or milliliter and this oil, water, petrol, everything comes under in liter. So uh, units, what are the units for capacity, milliliter and liter? There are two units. One is milliliter, M-I-L-L-I-L-I-T-R-E-S, milliliter, M-I-L-L-I, milliliter, L-I-T-R-E-S called as liter. So milliliter. Next is liter. Liter means we can consider as L. L is the symbol of what liter and ml is the symbol of milliliter. Now, uh, for example, a teaspoon holds about 5 ml. For example, the doctor advises you to take a cough syrup or a digestive syrup or whatever the syrup may be uh, for the um, or vitamin C syrup or uh, any kind of a tonic they provide you. So they told you to take an ovens, otherwise take a, a one teaspoon, one teaspoon full of a teaspoon full of uh, what the syrup you must add it and the, what the tonic should add it and after that you must consume it that is what after the food or before the food whatever the doctor advise you you have to do it so that is what a teaspoon a, teas, a teaspoon holds about 5 ml generally a small teaspoon holds 5 ml for example it is a tablespoon means it goes under 10 ml maybe and then a water bottle holds about one liter so one liter water bottle is a two liter water bottle is there so these are the water you can contain you can contain the juice also in the water bottle so this is left up to your choice so next one is to measure large quantities of liquid is equal to one liter that is called as one liter or two liter or five liter maybe whatever the liter may be but a large quantities measure only in liquid but small quantity measure in milliliter large quantity measure in what large quantities quantities of liquid large quantities of liquid measure in what liter and small quantity of liquid measure in milliliter for example um, you can call it as a petrol so if you fill the petrol tank so for a petrol tank at least if you want to fill the bike or car water maybe you can uh, 5 liter petrol or even with the 10 liters petrol so whatever may be the capacity hold the tank so you have to do like this so that is what the large quantity always measure in liter if you want to um, you can go for the very long distance you want to uh, in summer season or whatever the season may be a winter season so you want to drink something hot or cold so you must what have a or water bottle or uh, what uh, that means the bottle is contained uh, hot or cold whatever may be this kind of a water bottle you can available in the shop it seems so what you're going to do so one liter uh, juice or one liter uh, what is hot milk or hot uh, what are the beverages you can add it into that that is what large quantities always measure in liquid a small quantity is always in milliliter so milliliter i told you 5 ml 5 ml 500 ml of milk packet 
it is a pal packet is so what is the milk packet it is it's available in 500 ml at 250 ml even 100 ml also you can get it that's what so multiply to change from a bigger unit to smaller unit so if you want to convert bigger unit to smaller that is bigger unit means in the place liter they mentioned the liter so bigger unit convert into smaller unit. liter convert into milliliter you have to multiply by 1000 the formula is 1000 ml is equal to 1 liter so if you want 1 liter is equal to what 1000 ml so according to the need according to the need whatever the question they ask you according to the need you have to do it so divide to change from a smaller unit to bigger one that is milliliter is converted into liter that small is they mentioned the smaller unit is a milliliter they mentioned the large unit uh, comes under liter so if you want to convert smaller unit to larger unit that's milliliter convert into liter you have to divide this is a basic rule so don't forget the rules so study the formula once or twice and also go through the uh, videos once or twice and go through uh, the formulas and the videos and work out many sums you will get a thorough concept thorough idea in the particular topic